Hey YouTube, this is Jacob with Good To Go Gear. Uh, I'm here to do another kind of more of a first impressions video. Um, this is the CRKT uh, Woods Chogan Tomahawk or T Hawk. Uh, let me see, I got some specs. It's the overall length it says is 19.13 inches. The hammerhead material is 1055 carbon steel with the hickory handle. Um, it says it weighs 2, two pounds 1.4 ounces. There's no sheath included. All it came with, I have it in my pocket, it came with this little rubber guard that slips over the, the blade. Uh, it keeps it from cutting or feeling too sharp. Uh, I have been keeping it on there. Um, that's, that's it. I'll probably make a Probably a little, I'm thinking of maybe doing like a taco kydex type sheet, you know, for something just so I can throw it in a backpack. Um, it says the model number is a 2735, it says made in Taiwan. Not sure I like that, but what kind of made me want to get this is, you know, I, I have several, several different hatches, hatchets and axes and stuff, but I saw a video, I can't remember who put it out. I want to say like budget bug out or something like that. I'd have to look. But anyway, in the video, the guy, um, all he carries in his kit is the, the head, the axe head. Uh, because he says with this, you know, I mean, if you have a piece of wood, you know, you could take it and baton with it. You could take it and make your own handle, uh, you know, out in the field. And... Uh, you know, without having to carry that extra weight or the extra bulk, it takes up way less room. You know, just the just the axe head with the hammer. And I do like having a hammer. Uh, you know, I think that's cool. It does have. Let's see what the cutting edge is. With that said, it said it's a 4.21 inch cutting edge uh, from tip to tip. It does have kind of like a. Um, I don't know what you'd call this. Like a secondary edge here, but it's not sharp and it's uh, it's not very thick. I mean, it wouldn't take much. You hit it on a grinder, you probably sharpen it up, but it's it's real thin. But you can sharpen that, and I guess you know for pull cuts or something. Uh, I guess it's called the beard, but I don't know what you'd call that blade edge. Um, so anyway, we're gonna put the phone up or accidentally chop it, and uh, you know, take this piece of cedar and see what we can do with it. Move this chair out of the way. Ooh. Careful. Now I don't feel like with this longer handle compared to the uh, S-Twing Camp Axe, I don't feel like I have as much control swinging from back here. Um, so some reason I seem more worried about my fingers. Um, as you can see though, uh, it does split rather well. Um, let's see. <laughs> that actually does a really cool, really good job. So yeah, once the axe head goes through, you know, the cutting edge and it hits this wide part, it just shatters it. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Um, and I'm not, I mean, as y'all saw, uh, that's mostly just a little bit of wrist action going into the chop. I mean, if I were to actually try to chop, it'd probably just go right through this shit. Uh, so anyway, let's just see. Uh, this is what I would kind of use this or something like that S-Twing um, camp hatch or sportsman's axe that I did a review on would be something I would probably feel more comfortable using around the camp backpacking with uh, you know doing some more of the camp chores let's see this one doesn't seem to want to feather 
Hmm, that's too bad. But I didn't touch the edge up or anything before doing the video on either either axe. But yeah, for splitting, you know, getting something to make a fire with at your campsite. I mean, it gets them nice and thin. <laughs> uh, watch your fingers. Ooh. So um, yeah, it doesn't seem to want to want to feather stick them. It is getting some shavings off, but it could just be me getting used to the edge, like the bevel on this as well. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna get another piece before I hurt myself. Yeah, it goes right through the wood. It just doesn't seem to want to feather stick very well. But like I said, it could be a new new edge bevel. Um, yeah, that does not as comfortable to, to do that with. You can feel that hammer head right here digging into my hand. But I'm going to tell you, I think for splitting firewood, I think it does. Like, like I said, just a, a light camp axe. I mean, you could probably use this for more, uh, more stuff around your camp. But I think it does great. I do like how you could carry just this. And if you're in a wooded environment, you know, you can make your own axe handle. Uh, I do like that. You know what I mean, unless if you have another tool like a pocket knife. Or you could just use this as a wedge, you know, just get a baton and hold it here. Let me see if I can do that. Let's turn it this way. Yeah, I mean, just doing that, um, you know, if this is all you had and you're trying to get some firewood, Nice catch. But uh, yeah. So, I mean, if you just wanted to pack this, I'll have to look up that guy. Uh, I think it's Budget Bug Out or Budget Prepper or something like that. Um, but he did a video where he just carries the axe head. And I thought about that and actually made me decide to get one of these. Because uh, I don't generally like if I can help a wood handle. You know they're prone to break, but everybody's like, oh, you make another one. Well, yeah, but that can be difficult. Daddy, like I said in my, yeah. sorry about my son, he gets excited watching Daddy play with his tools. Uh, but uh, you know, depending on what part of the country, you may not be able to replace your handle. But uh, yeah, I think with this, I think you'd be good to go. The hammer. I guess you could hammer ten stakes or bust open some some like hickory nuts I don't know if y'all have much experience with hickory nuts but they're pretty pretty solid and so this could probably crack them open for you pretty easily uh, but anyway this is Jacob good to go gear and uh, I'll tr keep doing some testing and reviewing on this uh, but my overall first impressions are I mean I like it even even with the wooden handle it's pretty light you probably have to strap it on the outside of your pack it doesn't come with any kind of a sheath uh, but that can be easily remedied. I mean, I guess if you're a leather guy, you can maybe figure out how to do leather or buy a leather sheath for somebody. But, uh, yeah, overall, I mean, I like it. It's, it's handy. It's lightweight. Um, just that little bit of use. The handle is kind of, not necessarily cramping my hand, but it does hurt my hand. But like I said, I never wear gloves, and that's just that little bit of use. But, uh, anyway, this is Jacob Good to Go Gear. Uh, doing my first impressions on the CRKT uh, Woods Choking. 
Thanks.